Hey pretty people, whoa, my hair. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Make sure that you're subscribed so that you can join all the fun. So I got quite the hair going on right here. Um, it's the morning, don't feel like doing my hair, so this is what we're working with just for the moment. But as you guys know by the title of this video, today I'm showing you what I eat in a day specifically as a plus size model and how I keep in shape for anything that's thrown my way. So I did this video about a year ago and you guys really loved it. It is my number one video. So a lot changes within a year. So here we are one year later showing my updated what I eat in a day. So as some of you may know, I just graduated college, which means that I unfortunately gained some weight. So currently I'm eating and working out so that I can lose some of the extra weight that I did put on and that I can tone it up. Just really make my curves look good and healthy. So yeah, my thing right now is really eating to fuel my body, eating to make myself feel better, and of course to help myself look better too. And tomorrow I have a casting, so today I really want to eat light, healthy, nutritious, so yeah, let's just jump right into this thing and I hope that you guys enjoy. It's early, I need my coffee and food, so let's just start this thing. The coffee at Fresh Market is obviously very fresh, but it honestly is so delicious and they have such a good wide variety of selections. So if you really like coffee, I definitely recommend that you go try Fresh Market's coffee or just anywhere that has a really big, fresh selection. For breakfast, I'm gonna be having an avocado toast topped with an egg and this meal really has everything that you need to start off a very good and productive morning. It has your carbs, your fats, and of course your proteins, and it has everything that you need to just really get your morning going. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is cook my egg. And while my egg is cooking, I'm going to take a slice of bread, and this bread is from the Fresh Market, and it is an eight grain loaf. So it has the good kind of carbs in here that will really start your morning off good and it won't make you tired after eating it. So I'm gonna toast this while this egg is cooking. One little piece in the toaster. Ooh, I feel like I did good. I'm honestly the worst at flipping eggs, so not my forte. So that was a good one. So now that my egg is basically done and my toast just popped out of the toaster, I'm gonna set my egg aside. I'm gonna take my toasted bread and put that on a plate. And on another plate, I'm gonna cut up my avocado. This one has such a big nut. Look at that. That is one of the biggest nuts I've ever seen. So I'm gonna fourth my avocado and take one fourth and scoop it onto my bread. Really get in there and mash that avocado up. And to the top of this, I'm gonna add some salt and pepper to make it really tasty. Just a little bit of salt, you don't wanna overdo it. But with the pepper, girl, you can go crazy. Then we're gonna take our mutilated egg that we cooked as best as we could and just place it on top. And voila, breakfast is ready. I love this breakfast, it is so good, so filling, so. Very good, oh my god. Mm. It's good. Hello, it is lunchtime, and today I'm gonna be having a salad with lots of veggies, so let's go make it. And here is everything that's going into the salad. So we got, obviously, the lettuce, some croutons, some avocado, some tuna, some red onion, and then some tomato.
so here it is all kind of just placed together and now I'm gonna top it off with this lemon herb vinaigrette So here it is all completed, all mixed together, and it is going to be so delish. What's up guys? I am about to head out the door, but before I do, I'm going to make myself a snack. And lately I've been obsessed with smoothies just because they're amazing for you. They taste good and it's really quick and easy to just drink it real quick. So yeah, let's just go make this smoothie. So lately I've been liking to make my smoothies with strawberries, blueberries, spinach, chia seeds, and I use almond milk to make sure everything's mixed up. So this is it, just a five ingredient smoothie, but it's super healthy and super delish. So I like to add the ingredients that are really easy to blend to the blender first, which are like the blueberries, the spinach, and the chia seeds, and then I top it off with the almond milk. So I'll blend that up first, and then once that's all mixed, I'll add the strawberries. Because I find if I add the frozen strawberries first, it doesn't get me anywhere and it really doesn't blend. So I add the strawberries a little bit at a time so it has a chance to blend them up. And this time I tried to cover up the blender so it wouldn't pop everywhere and this is the result. But at least it didn't make a mess anywhere else. So I'm gonna take this with me because I have a nail appointment. That's probably my reminder right there <laughs> in like a little bit because for my casting tomorrow, these grown out nails, they're not gonna cut it. So let's go get them filled and get ready for tomorrow. Hello again. So I'm back from the nail salon. Got my nails touched up and even changed the color. <sighs> it was a long, long appointment. I was there way longer than I even had anticipated. So I'm exhausted and I have zero energy to make dinner and I had the full intention of going to my kitchen and <laughs> making some really yummy healthy food. But that's life. Things don't always go to plan and you have to adjust. So tonight I think I'm gonna go run over to Panera and get a really healthy dinner. And this is actually a very common thing for me. If I'm not in the mood to cook, I will definitely go to Panera if I wanna still eat healthy. Let's have a simple, easy dinner, but it'll still be nutritious and it'll still fuel my body and will help me look good and look bomb along with my nails <laughs> for this casting tomorrow. So let's go. So here's my dinner. I got chicken noodle soup and then a chicken melt thing. I don't know what else. Tomato, red onion, chicken, and some cheese. So it'll be good. Hello. So I am done with dinner and I am done for the day with all my meals. And that was really an average looking day of what I eat in a day. Like I said in my last video about being called a plus size model and my eating habits. As you guys can tell, I do try to keep things healthy and I do think that there is a misconception around the idea that curve models eat like garbage because I know that I surely do not. And today I'm still refueled because I've eaten very well and I feel really good. Like I said earlier though, I am trying to eat more healthy than I did in college. In college, I literally ate processed food, canned food. I tried to make it healthy, but it wasn't natural. So that is my little attempt at becoming healthier by incorporating more natural whole foods into my diet. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and seeing what I eat in a day to stay ready as a plus size model. If you want to see more from me, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. So yeah, that's it for today. I'm going to go get ready for this casting that I have tomorrow and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.